All right, so we're going to simplify fractions. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it the way you've normally done it, but I'm going to show you also with the sled. So let's look at 18 twentieths. Now, if I say 18 and 20, I can divide, I've got to divide both of those numbers by the same number. So you could say, well, they're both even, so I could divide by 2. Divide by 2. So 18 divided by 2 is 9. 20 divided by 2 is 10. Now, 9 and 10, well, only numbers that go into 9 are 3, and that's and 9. But 3 and 9 don't go into 10. 1 is the only factor of both of those numbers, so that is your simplified fraction. Now, let me show you something real quick. I can also do it using the sled. I take the 18 and the 20. The 18 is my numerator. He always goes in front. The 20 is my denominator. He'll go behind. So I'm going to take 18 and 20, and I'll put them both in a sled. Now, what is a factor I can pull out of both 18 and 20? Well, they're both even, so I can pull out a 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 20 divided by 2 is 10. Hey, look at something. You see over here 18 twentieths and 9 tenths? If I say 18 twentieths, I put a little fraction bar right there. There's my 18 twentieths. And my simplified fraction is 9 tenths. Whatever is left, that is your fraction in simplest form. So your simplified fraction of 18 twentieths is 9 tenths. Let's do another one. 24 thirtieths. All right, I'm just going to go ahead over here to a, a sled. And I'm going to do 24 and 30. All right, what is a factor I can pull out of both 24 and 30? Well, a lot of you are saying 6. All right, so I can pull out a factor of 6. It's 24 divided by 6 is 4. 30 divided by 6 is 5. Now, is there anything else that can go into 4 and 5? Nope. That's basically right there, our doorstop. So our fraction in simplest form is right there, 4 fifths. Now some of you are sitting there going, well, what if I didn't pull out a 6? That's a great question. So let me erase this real quick. And I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to put 24 thirtieths again. But instead of pulling out a 6, I can pull out a 2. And I'm left with 24 divided by 2 is 12, and 30 divided by 2 is 15. Now I have to ask myself again, is there any other factor that I can pull out of 12 and 15? Well, yeah. Well, 2 goes into 12, but 2 goes in, does not go into 15. But 3 goes into 12, and 3 goes into 15, so I could have pulled out a 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Anything else I can pull out of 4 and 5? Nope. Well, that's my doorstop. So my fraction in simplest form is 4 fifths. You get the same thing. Last one. All right. Let's do 36 sixtieths. All right. Here we go. 36 sixtieths. What's a factor I can pull out of both of those numbers? Well, I know that there, 2 can go into it because they're both even. Well, 3 can go into it if you know your uh, divisibility rules for 3. If it adds up to 3, 6, or 9, it's always divisible by 3. 3 plus 6 is 9. 6 plus 0 is 6. Those are both divisible by 3. I also know it's divisible by 6. All right, and there's other ones too, but we're just going to go with, let's do 6. 36 divided by 6 is 6. 60 divided by 6 is 10. All right, let's think. Any other factors that I can pull out of 6 and 10? Yeah, they're both even. So I can pull out a 2. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. Is there anything else that I can pull out of 3 and 5? Nope, that's it. There's my doorstop. So what is your fraction in simplest form? The fraction in simplest form is 3 fifths. Now I could have also put 6 tenths, 
but that simplifies. I'll see the six tenths right here, six tenths, which that simplifies to three fifths. That's your fraction in simplest form. All right, now on the next page, now first, you're going to take a selfie of your notes and put it on the first slide. The second slide, you're going to do six problems, and I'm going to come by and I'm going to put a check on those problems. Please make sure that you push your hand, the little green hand, and I will come by and check you off. If your green hand is not up, I will not know that you're ready to go. All right, let's try it. 